Good morning, welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. So again, my streaming software is not working. Um, and so, um, my streaming software is not working. So we're here on Facebook again. So if you're watching this on YouTube, it means that I uploaded it at half past seven. Um, so cool, so nice to be here. Uh, I was, I'm back running. Uh, this morning and it was really based on that idea of what's the smallest version of running that I can do and how would I include that in the day that I already have it's just glorious wow because I broke my leg during covid and all that kind of stuff and, and I've never really found my ground with my running again but vitality the one minute thing yeah it's given me the possibility of getting back and running again um so great, we're going to do a wave. It's Saturday, so we're standing. And so come, come lie on the floor to begin with. Land. Nice. And then rock your knees from side to side. And I got into the river as well this morning. So amazing. I stopped the river maybe around 10 days ago. Uh, there was loads of stuff going on. One of the dogs was in heat. Rock your knees and as you rock, really feel your belly. And so I didn't go down. It was amazing. So beautiful. Nice, come into gliders. Rock your top leg up towards your elbow or your shoulder on the opposite side. And then rock to the other side. Noticing what you meet, how this feels. How is it to roll and rock and connect right now in this moment? Nice. And then roll up along your spine. And then travel all the way down. Roll up along your spine. And travel down. Nice. So bring your arms overhead. And then I'm going to get you to roll. So hopefully you've space just to either left and right of you. So drop your knees to the right. And then roll over onto your belly. So you end up with your feet in the air and on your belly to the right. And then roll back. And then roll over towards the left. And I have to do something really interesting with my belly. If I push my belly into the floor as I roll from one side to the other. So just travel. Travel in one direction. <laughs> and then travel in the other direction. Travel one way. <laughs> Meet a dog. <laughs> and then travel in the other direction. Nice. <laughs> cool. Come land on the floor. Pause. Oh, the front of my body really likes that. That sense of the contact with the floor. So let's roll over onto our bellies. Let's do a little bit of belly work. That felt very nice. <laughs> so roll over. Land on your belly and bring your hands wide and out. And then stretch your right arm long. Bend your left knee and and draw your right foot over towards the left and go slowly in the beginning. Come back to center, bend both elbows and do the same side again. Stretch your right arm long, bring your left foot over and come back. Rise up in the middle and then down, uh, left foot over, back to center, rise. And again, left foot over, back to center, and rise. Pause there. My left knee is bent, my arms are straightening, and I'm lifting through the front of my torso. Nice. Lowering down. Other side. Left arm long. Bend your right knee and sweep the right foot to the left. Come back to center. Rise. And again. Left arm long. Right foot swings. Back to center. Rise. And again, 
Left arm long, swing your right foot back to center. Right, left arm long, swing back to center and pause. Hmm. Very nice. Pause, draw your shoulders away from your ears. Look forward and then coming all the way through. So stretch both arms long, both legs long. And then lift your right foot, left leg. No, <laughs> right hand, left leg. And then lowering down. Lift your left arm, right leg, lowering down. And my head lifts with the lifting arm that's on the floor, really pushes into the floor to create stability. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Lift. It's called yoga. This one in my head. <laughs> Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Nice. Pause. Breathing into your belly. We're going to do the same moment again, but we're going to pause in it. We're going to hold the position. So, arms are long in front of you, legs are long. Right arm, left leg, and pause there. So, to pause in something, lifting something, you have a certain range, but to pause, you add load and stress, which is time. And so, you'll notice that your leg is heavier than it was when you just lifted it up, and your arm is heavier than it was when you just lifted it up. Lowering down, and then the other side. Left arm, right leg, pause. And lowering down. And try both arms, lift both feet, lift both hands, and imagine that you're... <laughs> song that comes to mind. I've done this before, anytime I do this. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. So the all-American hero, so you're flying. So try and get longer, like you're actually flying. And then lowering down, pause. Rock your bum. Nice. So push your elbows into the floor, and then just bring your left knee up for the moment beside you. And then pause there. Let me just, that's that blue tit. Is this blue tit who is banging on all the windows? And I think she's picking up all the spiders off the windows. It's very sweet. There she is. He, she, whatever. Other side, bring both legs straight. Bring your right knee up. It happened before, a few years ago. During two years, there was a blue tit just literally banging on all the windows. It's very sweet. Uh, come back. Nice. Push both elbows down. Reverse backwards. Cat pose. And round your back. And arch your back. Round your back. Arch your back. Round your back, arch your back. Nice, tuck your toes under, push back. Really drawing back through your feet, drawing back through your legs. And just feel that. I can feel the run in my legs, which is really, feels amazing. I love, I love the feeling that beginning running gives me. It's like, today is the first day of the rest of my life. <laughs> It's really incredible, isn't it, how the excitement and the connectivity to beginning something, a pattern or breaking an inertia, you know, it's like, oh, no, no, and it's like, no, no, I can do one minute of running. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> nice, walk forward, slowly rolling up, and come all the way up to stand and just pause there.
So I put a quote up in, so there's a yoga with Kira Facebook group. And I put a quote up, which was, you know, um, um, are we doing yoga to get a, a beach body, you know, a bikini body? And it was like, no way. They said it a little bit more rudely than that. I said, no way. I'm training for my old lady body. Strong bones, balance, stability, ability. I'm like, yeah, let's train for long term. So feet are parallel, standing tall at the front of your mat. Feet your arms wide, bring your palms together. We're going to come back into the the vitality sequence. Bring your palms together into a prayer position and then bring your left foot, left leg up and over so that you're crossing your thighs and you're sitting your bum down and your left toes are on the floor beside your right foot. Today we're going to stay where you are with your palms together or cross the right arm over the left and hold on to your shoulders. And just breathe into your belly. Nice. Bring your palms together. Bring your feet hip distance. Left elbow. Bring your heart to your thumbs. Breathing into the back of your body. Get really wide and open through the space. So bring your hands to your right knee. Both hands to your right knee. Step the left leg back. Drop the left knee to the floor. And then sweep the left arm towards the right so that you're side bending to the right. Your shoulders dropping down on the right. There's a length through the whole left side from your knee to your fingertips. Nice. And now sweep your left arm back. Bring your left hand to your hip or to your thigh. Lift the back knee. Turn your foot so it's flat. And then sweep your right arm across and over your ear. Do a re reverse warrior. Lean a little bit more, maybe slide your hand down the knee. And then sweep your right elbow to your right thigh and reach your left arm long beside your ear. And just really feel the length of that left side of your body. Breathe into your belly. Bring your left hand to your hip. We're always changing this. I'm always changing it slightly. Straighten your front leg and bring your right hand either above or below your knee. And then pull your left elbow up and come into triangle pose. So your either hand is down near your foot, your ankle, your preferably not on the knee itself. It just means that you're hanging out of one of the deep ligaments that stabilizes the patella. I don't think it's the best thing to do. So above or below your knee. And then reach as deeply as you can up towards the ceiling. Breathing into your belly, lengthen through that top arm. Bend your left elbow, slowly rising up. Turn your toes towards the front of your mat. Bend your knees a little bit. And then we're going to do seaweed arms. So swing your right arm across the front of you and then your left arm. I'll bring your feet a little bit closer. So I'm sitting, they call this goddess, arm across. Arm across. Seaweed arms sitting deeply down into a squat. Nice. Water washing. So bend the left knee, bring your left elbow to your left knee, and then drag your right arm along the floor and create length from your right foot into your fingertips as you whoosh water towards the right. No, uh, left, sorry. Both elbows, both knees, and then turn towards the, the right, right elbow on your knee. Reach towards the hmm, right with your left hand, and then travel. Whoosh. 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 Nice. Come back to center. Bring both hands down and pause. So you can do all kinds of versions, hands on the floor, hands out long, hands on your ankles, elbows on the floor, see what's right for you. Just breathe. Nice. Turning towards the right side, step forward, 
Come all the way up, reach your arms wide, bring your palms together. Palms come to rest in front of your chest. Cool, we'll do the other side. <laughs> Very nice. So reach your arms wide, bring your palms together. Bring your hands down in front of your chest. Prayer position. Take your right foot, step it over, toes on the floor, sit your bum deeply down. And just feel that you're sitting down. Keep your hands where they are or cross the left arm over the top of the right and hold on to your shoulders. How do you sink? How do you really drop into your pelvis? And to lengthen your spine. Nice. Both feet wide, as wide as your hips, palms together into prayer position. Right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Nice. Bring both hands to your left knee and then step your right foot back. Drop your right knee to the floor. Sweep your right arm across your, towards the left and side bend through the torso over towards the left. My right ha left hand is really strong on my knee, so I'm creating stability. Nice. Sweep your right arm down. Bring your right hand either to your thigh or to your hip. Lift your right knee. Pivot your foot so it's flat to the floor. And then I'm going to straighten my right arm as I sweep my left arm long beside my ear. Reverse warrior. Nice. Come down with your elbow to your left thigh. Sweep your right arm long beside your ear and create length through the whole right side of your body. Reaching into your fingertips. Really stabilizing into your foot. Nice. From here, bring your right hand to your hip, straighten your front leg and come to rest either above or below your knee and then pull your right elbow up and reach up. Widen through your arms, really feel the triangle pose as you reach upwards. So it's about the two points on the floor and then this rising up into the top arm, reaching into the top arm. Super. Bend your elbow, come back to center, turn your toes towards the side of your mat. And then I'm gonna walk my feet a little bit in, sit your bum down so that you're sitting down into your hips and then just swing your arm across. And as I swing my right arm across, I pull my left elbow back. So seaweed arms. How deeply can you sit down into your hips? Nice, change it into water washing. Turn your towards the right, right elbow down, sweep your left arm across. Both elbows down, and then sweep. Both elbows, sweep or no elbows, sweep. No elbow, <laughs> this is sweet. Both hands to the floor. Bring both knees to center and just see what it's like to sit on your feet in the middle of your mat. And just pause. Maybe you need support. Maybe you're forward and up with your bum because your knees are telling you to be really careful. Maybe your feet are telling you to be careful. Let's see what you need. See how that is, pause. Breathing into your belly. So the two principles, main principles of longevity of movement. So longevity of movement is I want to move till I'm 100, okay? Is do no harm and always moving forward. So do no harm is nothing you do today should prevent you doing yoga tomorrow. Full stop. No gardening you do today should prevent you doing gardening again tomorrow. So always finding the right amount of effort and continuity without any damage, which breaks the continuity of your practice, okay? And the other is always moving forward. If you can't do something one way, find a creative way to do it in a different way. 
bit like saying, oh, I can't drive to the shop anymore, or I can't do this anymore. I want to find a small version or a different version or keep finding ways to be creatively engaging with the life that you want to live. Lead, lead. <laughs> push back into your downward dog. Find something, like a minute of something that you can do rather than an hour. So always moving forward is the one minute trick. Find a way to do something differently. Find a way to do something shorter, creatively. Bending one knee, bending the other. Cool. Come sit on your bum. And twist towards the right. A little bit of movement in many different directions, seeking wellness in this moment. Because wellness now will be a practice of wellness for the future. Ch change. So I don't believe, I've said this millions of times, I don't believe that causing pain now will create wellness in the future. Oh, it's a little bullfinch. My little window tapper. Oh, look at him there. Oh, it's a bullfinch. Very sweet. <laughs> there must be two. Oh, anyways, okay, come lie on the floor. <laughs> Landing. Can you hear that tapping, I wonder? So sweet. Nice, a pause. So in Ireland, if you're in Ireland, the weather is supposed to be really nice this weekend, like really nice. It's the first true brightness that we're going to be having. This morning was incredible the sunrise it felt like all the potency and potential of of dry air and space it was so beautiful so just feel that in your body right now you know that there is a, a kind of a spaciousness in the sky in the environment when the weather is a bit drier a bit sunnier less windy So stay where you are and just dwell on what small thing, one minute of something could you do that would engage with your environment today? You know, could it be that you sit in your garden for one minute? Could it be that you sit and just feel the sun on your face? Could it be that you, yeah, something small. You know, if you want to weed your garden, can you weed for one minute? If you want to... Tidy up the leaves. Can you collect the leaves for one minute? Do something really small. Engage with your environment. And um, nice. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Hopefully YouTube will be back and I'll be back to normal systems. But um, great. It's lovely to know that we can, we can adapt and we can be creative. We can find our way around things. Always moving forward. Find ways to do things that aren't the typical way of doing it. And then you always do the thing that you want to do. Nice. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Be well. Ciao, ciao. Salam.